Wait till you hear this one. This, this improv story is based on the idea. Man snaps key and lock, let the story commence. Craig was drunk and he came home late one night for being out celebrating the end of that fucking coronavirus fucking shite. Try to put the key in the lock. Wrong fucking key. It was the wrong key, so he's like that. You know, it's the kind of the the you know the jaggy Yale. Is it Yale or Mortis or the wee thin one? The one that's easily snapped, not a big fucking classic key. This kind of key. And then try to turn it. <laughs> Snap. So not only was it the the right uh, the wrong key, but it had snapped. Not only had it snapped, but it was the wrong fucking key. It's not like it could get like go to a neighbour's house, get a pair of pliers, and like actually twist the fucking key that was in there. That would actually be bad. Then the door would be permanently fucking. Um, Unlockable, which would make for an interesting story, but that's no hand. So he was like, oh, oh no. So he thought he had locked himself out with the only key that he had. It was fuck. He, he didn't know what to do. So he went like that, right, he was steaming, he chapped on a neighbour's door. Right next door. Chapped on a door. He'd only recently sort of moved in. There was a guy that he didn't get on with, he didn't like the guy's attitude. And there was somebody at the other side, right? He stayed in a kind of street main door thing. Uh, then he got on with that guy. But got on with that guy. Like that that guy was always about that. Uh, you can't, now nah, you can't just stick your, your bin there. No, I know you just moved in, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put up with that. I'm not gonna put up another two years. It's like this neighbour was almost blaming Craig was like sort of on Craig's back and revenge almost for some previous fucking neighbour who would always put their bins right outside the fucking you know, I'm not I'm not having it because you put that there, somebody'll move and it'll just be right outside my front gate and I'll have to What is it, the guy ne next door, he was like laid back anyway. So Craig being drunk got a bit mixed up and he chapped on the door of the guy, um he chapped him door, the guy that answered. He was hoping for the laid back one. It was the other guy. Is that what it was? What's going on? What is it? Craig went, Oh, what are you doing in here? Guy went, What? Are you are you having a party? <laughs> what is in? The guy went, What are you fucking what are you on about? What time is? What's going on? And Craig went, I've, uh, uh, the, the, the door, the key, you what? The door, the key, the key, you want a bit? Wait, f you don't know fucking time is? What's going on? Nothing! It's that arsehole for next door. You're calling a fucking arsehole. What is it? What's going on? The key! The fucking key? Don't fucking key me. I'll fucking key you, you cunt. And Craig pulled out his keys. And he went through that whole house. Any living creature, human or otherwise, that had eyes, he took the eyes out with his set of keys. And then he went to the other neighbour. He walked out. Wait a minute. There isn't a party going on in here. This, I'm in my wrong neighbour's house. So he went to the other neighbour's house, the chilled out one. He thought, this will be easy, the guy's chilled out. The guy opened the door and Craig surprised him and just ran in. Black key right to his fucking eyes. Took his, and, and he, he got a buzz at a kind of turning the key. You know, popping it into the eyeball. Turning the key, because this time it was the one that kind of, it's got the wee bits like that. You know, the wee 
it's like that, it's like that, very wee bit like that. Like that. Uh, he done all them in, and honestly, he managed to get another three, four hussies before the polis came. You'd be surprised how many you can get. Nobody died, but they all lost their fucking eyes, and they're screaming. You never heard anything like it. You never heard anything like it. And uh, honestly, it just suddenly hit Craig. He just, it just suddenly sobered him up. He went like, what have I done? And the police came. And the police said, you better not put up a fight here. And Craig said, I'm not going to put up a fight because what I did was fucking bang out. They took him to jail. They took him to court. And the judge said, first of all, before we do anything, how do you plead? Don't know if you know how courts courts work, Craig. But basically, you get a ch you, you plead. It's a pleading diet, you call it, here in Scotland. And this is where you say, right, yep, I did it. And we just get it earned on me. Or if you say not guilty, we've got to go through the whole fucking shit. How do you plead? Now keep in mind though, if you plead guilty, you may get a lesser punishment than if you fucking have to make us prove it. Now come on, Craig, do the right thing. And Craig said, don't, talk to me like I wasn't going to do the right thing. No, it will look like I'm only doing the right thing because you persu persuaded me. The judge went, ah, you said pers persuade, you, you you made an arse of words. Craig went, will you listen? The judge went, sorry, what are you saying? Forget it. Guilty. I did it. I'm sorry. There you go. Don't know what got into me. It's just that I snapped the key and the judge went, given that this man was under extreme duress, he snapped his key, um, we have to give him, a, give him a chance to make amends here. You're free to go. And Craig went, Thank you very much, you left, and then the judge went, not so fast. And Craig thought, he's going to say it, I know it, he's going to say it like that, let me vine. He's going to say, you're free to go to prison. But the judge said, that's not the only thing that's free around here. Bailiff! And the bailiff walked up like that. Do 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 came right up to him and went like that. Reached behind like he was gonna punch him. A big box like wrapping paper on the wee ribbon. And Craig went and the bailiff and the judge went, open it. Opened that fucking PlayStation. PlayStation. <laughs> fucking PS5. <laughs> unfucking believable. You got to laugh. Honestly, you shouldn't laugh, but you got to laugh. It's fucking unreal. PS5, and it had included with uh, uh, Demon Souls. Fucking unbelievable. Uh, that was it. The end. <laughs> Fucking sick. It's sickening. I'm at that point now. I'm just laughing now. I'm just laughing now. How do I know? I was that judge. I was that judge. And I regret what I did. I just, I don't know, I woke up one day, I just saw some stuff in the news, I went, fuck this. And the, the, um, the, uh, what you call it? 
the, the back the kind of backlash the backlash that I got for that um is pretty bad. So I stopped being a judge and I don't like to talk about it. That's why you have never known me for being a judge. Daily Mail backlash. Oh no, backlash for every every cunt. It came from everywhere, every direction. Was it your own PS5 you gave? No, it's brand new. They've, they've got they've got reserves. Her Majesty's prisons. The reason why one of the reasons why the PS5 sold out is Her Majesty's prisons. Bought them. Bought them all. Got first dibs. <laughs> 